for allowing us to share in this very special day. It's our Thank pleasure. you very much. It's our pleasure. <laughs> that first trip over to Canada when you probably were just about the age of Kiara. A little older than Kiara. Well, we're very glad you did. Too bad we weren't at Pier 21 to welcome you then. But we're here tonight to celebrate with you. And now I'd like to introduce Connie's sister, Linda Terrell. And Linda very special person in Connie's life. Uh, not only is she Connie's sister, but I think she's probably one of Connie's very best friends. So without further ado, we'll have Linda come up and say a few words. Linda? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll speak louder now. I have the pleasure to um, speak about Cook's family and of course you know um, Jacqueline and Peter and the love of um, Cook's life where's Kiara <laughs> and of course uh, Jay is out west and I know he too many things to be here today and I know he's thinking of everyone here especially his dad and we're thinking of him so we send our best to him and Cook's mother, Christina, in Bowmanville. She will be 96 in September. And uh, also, our um, Connie's and, and my mother, uh, Ethel uh, King, and her husband, Ed, would certainly send their love and best wishes to you, Cook. And I'm going to introduce um, the sisters and brothers. So first of all, I'll introduce Liz and her husband, Bill. Would you stand up for a second, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's pretty shy. Is this him solo in the valley? Yeah. <laughs> wow. in the shower. We're in the show tonight, folks. <laughs> um, I guess over the years we've spent all our major holidays together. And when they lived in Germany or um, traveled around, we've been there. And it's, it's always been a wonderful time. And I think Cook's very special. He's always been very kind to me, very caring, and very generous. And I appreciate it. I always cook. And I'll tell you how special I am. Because I came in today to see them, and I said, I am so thankful. It would be wonderful to be here for a week. Anyway, I think there was some mention though of something had come up, so I'm not sure if that's going to materialize. Look at Jackie. Happy birthday, guys. Thank you. There would be many sisters in law. All the lads while they work on the river I know that come evening they'll be in the town And they all want to horse with the love driver For he goes whirling down, down the white water That's where the log driver learns to step lightly It's whirling down, down the white water The love driver's will squeeze his girls completely Could have led to other fame At 16, Cook caught the eye of many a girl, but especially a 15-year-old named Connie Terrell. Their first date in 57 is an historical fact. 
With 48 years and counting, they've never looked back. Now, an interest in the scientists, in the sciences, and the ROTC from Queen's a career in medicine as a GP. The Army, a family, and a red M MGB. Greenwood, Soest, Lahr, and West Germany. Now back to Ontario, and a story can be told. At CFB Petawawa, Cook and a surgeon became quite bold. On the family poodle, they did a TSP. The poodle's tail was cut short for all to see. A few nurses complained, most thought it was fun. But Cook was chief of staff and the job got done. <laughs> then as country, coron co county coroner, he was often challenged when chasing down bodies with his unique sense of direction. <laughs> he spent many late nights searching on elusive country roads. The, ju the GPS came too late to lighten Cook's load. <laughs> Now, Cook goes fishing for walleyes with his good friend Tom, his guide and chauffeur. Cook just goes along. <laughs> Directing Tom from the bow, he thought, he'd, he thought bottom was caught. Instead, a 38-inch, 21-pound Great Northern was what he fought. But a walleye it was not. <laughs> In 82, Connie, uh, Cook and Connie founded Number 4 Heritage Place, where we are today a welcoming home, serene and full of grace, a picturesque setting on the Ottawa River, complete with the Christina Martens lily. But they were empty nesters within two years. Now, from trip to the Baja to visit Jason, his son, a stand-up paddleboard semi-expert cook has become. <laughs> Folks, that's just one step away from walking on water. <laughs> All this just to stay ahead of his precocious granddaughter. <laughs> now, Cook has a fantasy wish, which many may not know. He has a very deep interest in historical tomes and bones. And with all of his readings, it just goes to show he may have such thoughts, shades of Indiana Jones. <laughs> just think, there can be no doubt about it. Cornelius, Alec Cook, the intrepid archaeologist. It has a nice ring about it, and who knows, it could happen yet. <laughs> now, Jacqueline and Peter finally taught, tied the knot after years of travel. Who would have thought? <laughs> a granddaughter just three doors down lights up their life. Kiara's boundless energy, curiosity, and sense of fun keeps her grandpa and grandma forever young. She has them mesmerized and under her thumb as they sit on their stools and learn their songs. Now, Cook and Connie, in your retirement in 2001 was life-changing, paving the way for extended travel, recreation, friends, and family ties. These are happy days. Now, Cook, both your parents have lived long lives. Your mother, Christina, is now 95. Your genes are good, and life's path is long. With your arm around Connie, just keep motoring on. <laughs> Singing, dancing, harmonica, ising, curling, golfing, and fishing. Thank you. Do you know the song? Sing it with me. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Now what do we have? Maylocks and nose drops and needles for knitting. Walkers and handrails and new dental fittings. Bundles of magazines tied up in string. These are a few of my favorite things. Cadillacs, Cadillacs and Cadillacs and pyramids and glasses. Polydent and fixident and false teeth and glasses. Pacemakers, golf carts and perches with swings. Those are a few of my favorite things. When the pipes leak, when the bones creak, when the knees are bad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. Hot tea and crumpets and corn pads for buns, no spicy 
hot food or food with onions, bathrooms and heat pads, and hot meals they bring. These are a few of my favorite things. Back pains that confuse brains and no fear of sinning, thin bones and fractures, and hair that is thinning. And we won't mention our short, shrunken frames when we remember our favorite things. When the joints ache, when the hips break, when the eyes grow dim. Then I remember the great life I've had, and then I don't feel so And Connie as his wife. Really, though, we all do know what Jacqueline did produce was a special little princess. And Kiara rules the room. <laughs> as all of you well know, call him to fish or golf or ski. And off with you he'll go. His cooking skills are really great. To that we can attest. His burgers and barbecue sauce certainly are the best. Music and dancing are important in his life. He even went to Europe with his harmonica and his wife. Now we gather around our friend to wish him lots more years. Filled with laughter, fun, great times, good friends, and always a lot of cheer. We're the Red Hot Bombers and we're here tonight to say we want Cook to join our group as it would make our day. He's handsome, he's hot, and we'd like him a lot because you can plainly see and we promise we will all <laughs> aside from every nurse in town, he's wearing his life. No, aside from every nurse in town, he's winning in his life. There's Christina, Jeanette, Elizabeth, and Connie as his wife. Really, though, we all do know what Jacqueline did produce was a special little princess, and Kiara rules the roost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cook has many interests, as does all of you well know. Call him to fish or golf or ski, and off with you he'll go. His cooking skills are really great, to that we can attest. His burgers and barbecue sauce simply are the best. <laughs> time and I must say speaking for Cook and certainly for myself I always look forward to it Cook so we had a good time. Fishing was secondary it was a camaraderie and that's for sure. I just wanted to add if there ever was a, a tight scenario that had to be solved the eyebrows were raised a little bit uh, as only Cook excels at, and in fact, I've acquired that from Cook too, and I've been told that many times to uh, calm the eyebrow uh, arching just a little bit, which I've, which I've learned to do.
but he never gets excited. He's even-tempered, much like catching the lake trout, much like a good 200-yard drive. And you know, I, I, just for a moment, I want to talk about a scenario here at Lock March. Here's Farouk and I and Cook. We're on the seniors' tee. Peter is way back in the blues. And Peter's got this optical equipment that he puts up to his eyes to determine every bloody yard this ball is going to go. I've never seen a guy drive as far as this guy drives. Initially, I thought it was a telescope to determine if anybody was on the green. So he would hit the ball. But it was to measure his distance. And by gumbo, he'd hit it dead on every time. So what, it, it was great to be with that lock mark. How many of us take up an instrument when we retire? Cook did. He learned to play the piano. He dusted off his harmonica. I heard tonight that he sang uh, in the choir in high school. Quite a musical background. I also heard the other day that Kiera is taking musical lessons. And, and I think that's just fantastic that that is being passed on. You Cooker are a wizard at pottery. Uh, what you produce is magical. And I want to share this with you, Cook. Every morning I think of you because, joking aside, the coffee cups are there and I'm making coffee every morning. And I turn them over and I see your initials on the coffee cups. And it, and it brings back good memories. It really does. So. I could talk about his gardening skills. I think that was in the genetic material when he came from Holland to be so knowledgeable about what goes on in the garden when he was uh, fishing and the four days were over every May, he'd say, got to get back, get the garden in. And I always admired that. that uh, and you still are very good at what you do. Like gardening, music and pottery, you're passing that down through your snippets of DNA to your kids and your grandkids. And I think that's wonderful. Cook loves to read. He's a voracious reader. The last time we were up fishing a big moose, he says, I, I can hardly get back to finish Stieg Larsson's trilogy. I was surprised he didn't bring the book to the boat and read when he was, uh, when he was fishing. But you see, he said, this is a way that I keep my memory fresh. I won't forget that way. But at the expense of turning this into a bit of a roast, he has forgotten time. <laughs> there was one dinner here at, um, at Heritage Place down the road, and it was blazing hot, and a storm ensued, and we had all golfed, and we came back, and the power was out. And poor Connie and Cook, of course, as sous chef, he fit right in there. They couldn't use the stove because there was no electricity and everything was cooked on the barbecue. It was only after everything was cooked, cooked and eaten and enjoyed that we remembered that it was a gas stove. <laughs> <laughs> so, a little bit of humor there. And years ago, and this is where it's not senility, it's forgetfulness. And years ago, we were on the golf course and it was pointed out to Cook that his socks did not match. <laughs> and looking down with a bit of the nick in his eye and a gleam, he looked at us and he knew Connie was within your sight and he said, I, I must talk to my laundress. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Cook, we always got an answer for everything. <laughs> I could go on about your barbecuing skills, Cook. I could go on as to how you fit into the kitchen when you and Connie work as a team to present a great party. I could go on about your skills on wines and, and uh, everything that it takes to make a good social evening at your home. I won't. Uh, personally, I won't go on. But today, Cook, we celebrate your birthday and your accomplishments. 
And more importantly, we celebrate who you are and we celebrate our friendship. So please uh, join in the uh, toast. Cooked. 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 sisters, my in-laws, all for coming such a long distance. Really appreciate it. And uh, party on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>